Hi, my name is Julian, and tonight I'm going to be sharing with you step by step how you can buy Ethereum Mac. I'm going to share with you step by step how you can do this, and I'm also going to show you what exchanges you can use to buy this with. So there's not there's more than just one exchange you can do this with. So the steps are are simple, but it's a little bit more complex than your just average buying on an exchange. So normally you would just sign up for exchange, verify your account, and then you can go ahead and freely um, buy cryptocurrencies in like a couple of steps. But now it's a bit more, a few more steps that you have to take to actually get the cryptocurrency. So the first step I would recommend to you is signing up an exchange. Now, like I said, this can be done on multiple exchanges, but I'm just showing you how to do this with Binance. Um, so this is the Binance here, one of the biggest exchanges in the world, most trusted. So once you sign up in Binance, you want to make sure you have your um, account, you have um, your bank account um, set up or your credit card set up on here. Then you'll just come to this tab right here. The first step is simple. You want to buy, you want to put money into your um, Binance account. So, so you can do it with credit card or bank deposit, which is instant pay ID or credit card a debit card which is also as and where instant I'm gonna be doing with credit and debit card now once you click that it will just take you to here you have to add your card on here so make sure you are adding your card it says um, how much do you want to put in so let's say I just want to put in 100 AUD so you need Ethereum so once you buy Ethereum it will tell you how much you receive when you click on it hit the continue button here you can change your card add cards as you can see I've added my card already it will ask you most likely to add your card, so it's simple. Just show that, um, follow the step by step, like uh, put your numbers in there and everything like that. And then once you've done that and added your card, just hit, hit continue. Now it will ask me for my pin, so I'm going to put that in. Once you've done that, hit confirm. Now it'll tell you what the transaction fees are. So the transaction fees are two dollars, so it's a bit higher than I actually thought. So maybe pay ID would be the better option, but I will do this anyway for the video demonstration. So once you hit that, continue. It will process, it will take up to 30 seconds to get, your, um, to get your money into your account. So as you can see, I've got it in my wallet now. So I'm just going to click go to my wallet. Now you can also go to your wallet from the top right here. So if you click here on the drop view, click overview and it will bring you to the wallet as well. So there's that's how you can go to your wallet. So the next step is simply to... Alright, so the next step is you need to download Metamask. So go to Google, put, it, put in um, Metamask as, you, as, as it's a... Um, it's a browser, Chrome um, browser here, so as you can see there. So click on MetaMask and hit the download button here. Once it's downloaded, you will it will pop up and you can have your account ready to your account. You will have to sign up for an account. So I'm going to show you the pr process to do this. So you come to here, create an account. So you can call it whatever you want. Create the account, and as you can see, you have your account now. Now. I'm just going to go back to my other account. So now the next step here is simple. You want to click receive. Um, receive. You want to receive Ethereum into this account. So you need to send Ethereum into this account. So now we have to go back to Binance here. So transfer it. You want to transfer it. Oh, you, I mean, you want to withdraw it. So you want to withdraw your Ethereum. So that's how much Ethereum I've got. $95.55. You want to put that address in there. So Ethereum address. You can also have an address. Um, you can also have like an address of um, your, um, add your address in there. So it remembers it. So to find your address, you actually have to head over to your MetaMask wallet here. You should have your, um, if you have it downloaded. Now you want to click this here. This is your address. Ethereum address here click that and then just take that back over here and then you should just click here Ethereum network you need to click this one here because it is Ethereum um, and how much you want to send over so we want to send over Mac and then just hit the withdraw button ensure that this is correct so double check to make sure your address is correct this one here maybe you want to do a test run but I'm almost certain that it's correct so I will have to set up a Google verification here so this is just a simple security process that I've set up with my account so I'll be back once I've set this um, put it in all right, so now I've put in the information, the security, I'll just hit submit and then it should confirm and the withdrawal request has been accepted. So now I just have to be patient and wait for it to appear into my um, MetaMask wallet. So once it's appeared in my MetaMask wallet, then I can move on to the next step. All right, so now I've just received the Ethereum in my account. So as you can see, it shows USD. I did say $95, but that was AED, so don't panic. So it's $89.33 USD total that I have in there. So the next step is to go come to Uniswap. So uniswap.uniswap.org. Uniswap you want to use the Uniswap. Click the use button here on the top right. So you click uni use Uniswap and the interface will swap. This is just like a decentralized exchange. Pretty much no one has control of it and you're pretty much swapping with other people. That's pretty much how it works. So now you want to 
you want to make sure you can um, you want to swap max but now you want to figure out how to actually find the token contract token code so this is just how you can find the contract so it comes to coin gecko so I'll click here and you want to type in ethereum ethereum max I'm just going to look it up here for you max there it is right there ethereum max you can find this on coingecko.com as you can see on top coingecko.com now you want to come down to here and as you can see the contract address is here but i just noticed that they have updated the contract address here so they just had an um, announcement so you click over here to uh, twitter you this is their official twitter account so we'll wait for it to load I highly recommend you to make sure to double check that this is a correct um, Twitter account. So don't just trust any Twitter account. The only reason I clicked on it was because it's in the announcement right here. But most of the time, I would only trust this address right here. But for, because I know this is the actual, um, I know this is their account. So that's why I'm um, doing it. So they have their contract address right here. So you want to copy that, that contract address. Go back to Uniswap. You want to click max here. You want to select the token. You need to put that address that I just gave you right here. Control V, I just copied into here. As you can see, it's coming up. Import it, import, it's loading. I need to switch to um, the other one. That's just something that just popped up. Just click that. Now you want to click buy max. It might not work. I might have to lower it because of the fees. I had to mention the um, gas fees are extremely high. So when buying with Ethereum, swapping with Ethereum, the gas fees are extremely high to actually buy cryptocurrencies. I just wanted to mention that. I should have mentioned it earlier in the video. But I just want to let you know now that gas fees are extremely high when you are sending. So you will have to take into account the gas fees and they can be more expensive in other days and less expensive in other days it's just how it is but the fees can be anywhere from like 30 to 40 dollars so it is expensive to actually buy um swapping with uniswap but i'm just using doing this as a demonstration for you guys so once i hit once i hit that i confirm i have to take into account that the fees are high so i did take into account that so now it should pop up saying waiting for confirm so it's the price movement has been the reason why it has sometimes you might have to refresh so I'm gonna refresh it again I might have to up the up this a little bit sometimes you have to up up the liquid um, slippage now all I do is tr swap let's say put 20 there and then I'll just confirm the swap so I have to take into account the fees confirm swap waiting for transaction oh, so I have to increase the slippage Alright, sorry about that. So I did have to actually increase the slippage. So I've just increased the slippage to 2%. So don't panic if you do see that error, that thing come up. It's just how you have to actually increase it just to be able to um, swap at time. So now you just click swap. You will have issues like that. So make sure you just check that. Um, so the slippage might be too high, low still once again. Alright, so now it's worked. It's, it's annoying like that sometimes. You have to fiddle around with it just to figure it out. What the issue is so now you can see it's popped up on the right here it's told me the gas fee um gas fee amount so the gas fee is 13 dollars transaction is submitted and now you just wait for it to appear in your account as it's pending you might wait up to five hours to it could be one hour it could be 10 minutes it could be up to five hours or more that's just how it is it, you can just leave it and you should have your um uh in your account in a set a few minutes sometimes it takes longer like i mentioned but as you can see you can see the transaction transaction has went through and I have got the Ethereum in my account. The fees will depend on how much you're, how much you're buying, like how much money as and where you're using. So the fees can be pretty high and I will check my account right now. As you can see, there it is where it is. All right, sometimes I also want to mention you do have to actually add the token as well. So if you want to do how, how to add the token custom, so this will be easy. You need the contract address once again. We'll go back here. Get the contract address uh hang on so, contract address so put that contract address in and as you can see it automatically pops it up then you click add add token so don't don't panic if you don't see it when you buy it you have to actually add it sometimes as well so as you can see emacs it's it's right there and that's um yeah it's all set to go so i hope you guys like the video I appreciate you and um, thanks for watching. If there is any, all the links are in the description if you do want to um, buy Emac. Now, like I said, you can do this with any exchange. The same process is uh, works for SwiftX or CoinSpot or Coinbase. It doesn't matter. You just need a way to get Ethereum and you need a way to get it into MetaMask. And then you need to swap it with Uniswap. You need to get the contract address and then you need to just simply swap it and take into account for the gas fees. 
like here, then you need to add the token if it doesn't appear. So that's how simple it really is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for what. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.